all, welcome to another edition of Quick Excel. Today we're going to be going over how to make your data look a little bit more professional and presentable to uh, people in your company. So you can see we've got sales uh, over the years by category. So how do we kind of make this look a little bit more professional? Well, first thing that you want to look at, uh, in my opinion, is this cell styles. This is going to make it pretty quick to make a more professional looking uh, set of tables and uh, data. So you can go in here and you can see once I uh, hover over something you can preview it over where your data is selected. So let's go ahead and let's go heading one for that uh, big heading and then let's say for the columns we want a slightly different heading. Uh, we want a little bit smaller heading. Let's go heading two and we'll do something similar for our rows here. We'll just do this heading four without the underline. And then the grand totals, we'll select those and we'll give them uh, something similar. Let's, let's give them a slightly different color though. So we'll give them the heading four and then we'll go up here and go to the fill to customize the color and we'll give them uh, a slightly gray background and the text color will make a nice gray there. So just a little bit of shading. Um, and then for our main data, let's go ahead and go cell styles and let's just accent that slightly there. And then for the grand totals row, let's go ahead and put that total style on there that puts that nice double line at the bottom and then over here let's style this slightly with accent and let's fill it with that gray color we used for the grand totals. So now it's starting to look a little bit more professional and better but you can see these numbers are still very hard to read. Um, so one thing we want to do is we'll select these if you go up to this, you'll see this little comma. If you select that, you'll see that we get the commas for the thousand separator, which makes it much easier to read. And then also, there's other things you can do with this. Um, for this data, it's not as important, but we'll go to the format cell. So if you right click, um, and then you can do the customized so I'm going to delete all of this. And then I'm going to put, so you put the, the number sign. And then if I put a comma, it'll chop off after the thousandth. And then I'm going to put dot as many decimal places I want after the period. So I'll, I'll put two. And then I want the K to signify thousands. So you can see in this first cell, I've got 153,528, blah, blah, blah. So maybe I don't really care about how much after a thousand there is. I don't need that much accuracy. So in this case, I can modify it so you just see 153.53K. Now if your number was bigger, let me show you how to do millions. Uh, so let's do like... So this is 2.5 million. I'll increase that a little bit. So again, I'll go to Format Cells with the right click. And this time I'll go to Custom. I do that same pound sign. This time I'm going to put two commas to get it to the millions. Then I'm going to put the period, and I'm going to put uh, two zeros after the decimal place to give me two decimal places. And this time I put an M instead of a, a K, and then that will show me a million, 2.5 million instead of this long uh, string of numbers with the commas. It's, it's a little bit easier to read when you're working with big numbers, and you can kind of shrink the table in a little bit uh, to make it more densified as well when you do this sort of thing. All right, so we've got that. And then one last thing, if you're going to print this out or you're going to put it on a PowerPoint or something. Sometimes you don't want these grid lines. 
that Excel automatically puts in. So what you can do is you can go to View, uh, deselect the grid lines, and now you've got something uh, that doesn't look as, as bad with all the grid lines, looks a little bit more professional. Now I can print this out or I can dump this into a, a PowerPoint presentation and it'll look uh, very professional. And the other thing you might want to do is center some of this data. So you go up to here, hit the center, and that makes it, it's a preference thing, but I think it makes it a little bit better looking. All right, thank you very much.